Well, FIRST is an organization we put together that helps some of the great companies in this country organize and we team them up with high schools, junior high schools and now even elementary schools to give kids access to the serious adults in our culture, the engineers, the scientists, the inventors. And it's an organization that helps kids realize what they can do if they develop the muscle hanging between their ears. Too many kids in this country today, particularly women and minorities, believe that the only place to find exciting jobs and careers is the world of sports and the world of entertainment. A, there aren't very many jobs in those places, and B, most kids are not going to be able to be professionals there. Instead, if kids could get as passionate about learning how to think and solve problems and work hard at things that matter, they can have exciting careers. And this country is in desperate need of the next generation has to have way, way, way more scientists, engineers, mathematicians than it's now creating. The rest of the world has figured this out. Ironically, they've seen the model of what made America great for 200 years. Entrepreneurs, inventors, creators. And in some of the most developing countries in the world, they're approaching 100% literacy. Their kids work seven days a week, eight hours a day. They're excited to learn, to study, to understand technology. In our country, they take all that stuff for granted, they sit in the lap of wealth, and we pay our athletes a hundred million dollars in a five-year project to throw a rock and a stick at each other. We are the country that is fiddling, literally fiddling, while the empire is burning. We've got to inspire kids to do something important with their lives, and they've got to remember that sports is a national pastime. It shouldn't be a national obsession. It shouldn't distract kids from getting a really good education. But in a free culture where you get what you celebrate, if we continue only to celebrate to obsession, sports and entertainment, we can't blame these kids when they get to 17 years old and don't even graduate high school. When they get to 18 and they have bare, bare, bare minimum skills that would allow them to succeed in a 21st century economy. So FIRST is an organization. This year we had 71,000 scientists, engineers, professionals donate time to work with kids all over the country. And we celebrated the end of our sports season at, appropriately, the Georgia Dome in Atlanta, the 72,000 seat Georgia Dome, where thousands, tens of thousands of kids and parents and engineers got together to celebrate technology, inventing, creating. And we changed these kids' lives. We changed their perspective. We changed the focus. We changed their passion. And I think it will change the future of this country. But there are 39 million of these kids, and we've got to get the technical community to use some of its time and some of its resources and mostly some of its people to guide these kids, to help them figure out what's important in life, to help them separate fact from nonsense. And if these professionals aren't willing to put some of their own time and energy into interacting with these kids, we can't blame them, and we're going to pay the consequences. This country is going to be in a very tough shape in 20 years unless this group of engineers and professionals and inventors starts devoting serious resources to changing kids' attitudes about what's important.